What is up guys, COD Gameplay here, and today I have some search and destroy on Wasteland in Modern for 2. I am playing with the M4A1 Silencer, and then I have the Semtex, I believe I have Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro, and then my secondary, if I am correct, is the G18 Akimbos? Yeah, that's right. And so, the reason why I actually rocked this class to, I actually got this gameplay half an hour ago, the reason why I use this class on Wasteland is because this is my ultimate class for Wasteland. I've, every single time I use this class on Wasteland, I always seem to do good. My highest ever score in any, I think it was, no, my second highest score in Call of Duty on Search and Destroy was using this gun in Wasteland, and I believe it was a 24 and 3. 22 and 3 something something like that I believe it was over 20 kills in search and destroy or it was it was something like that and so I just destroyed everyone and ever since then I have loved the M4A1 in search and destroy and I think M4A1 in ground war is not the best because you're not in the one-on-one -on -one confrontations you're more like a I, I wait I have no clue how I did not die by that claymore look at that Look how close that claymore was to me. I'm just so rattled, so confused. And then go figure. I see the guy over there. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna come over here. Oh, he goes through the, he goes through the cave, dies by the claymore, and we win the round. But I skipped the first round because I thought it would be kind of boring. It's, I only got one kill, and, and then I died. And picking a rush route in Search and Destroy is so key. And even missing the seven seconds to call in your air support. It really does set you back a whole lot. Like, it is unbelievable how those first 10 seconds actually count towards literally the whole entire round. If you pick the wrong rush route, you're going to be screwed for the whole entire round. Uh, one thing that I want to say is that uh, I was actually playing with Prodigy Joey here, and yes, this was 30 minutes ago, and Prodigy Joey was on Xbox for the first time in 8 months. And so, God. I have, I have to admit, I've never had so much fun on Search and Destroy in Marvel 2 in 8 months. No, more like a year. Over a year. Because Marvel 2 was the most fun I ever had in Search and Destroy. And usually it was with my friends, or Joey and the crew and everyone like that. Because the reasoning, whenever, we're playing, <laughs> whenever I'm playing with Joey, we just mess around so much. We destroy kids, we never lose, but... We we just I don't know we we don't trash talk but we <laughs> we just kind of make fun of oh it's just it's just funny you have to be there uh, doing all of his voices I have to admit Joey is probably one of the best per people f for changing his voice he goes hey guys hey it's Project Joey and then he has like his uh, his Hispanic voice he has his uh, what else he has his Oh, he has so many voices. His French voice, Canadian, American. It's actually pretty funny. But uh, we get on people's nerves. We make them rage. And we troll really hard in Search and Destroy. Because, honestly, all Search and Destroy right now is, in Marvel 2, is a whole bunch of trick shotters, noob tubers, campers. And then you have the us. You have the semi tryhards, messing around, just having fun. And that is what this lobby is, and that's what I love. In Marvel 3, I hope all of the, uh, everything gets combined. And see, I was actually thinking of this. I was talking with Jeff, and he's, we were talking about Marvel 3 and Search and Destroy. And I actually think that Search and Destroy will become super popular in Marvel 3. You know why? Because in Marvel 2, Search and Destroy was so popular. Like, Everyone loves Search and Destroy, and honestly, that's just how that's how my channel started growing really fast. In the first month, I had 1K subs because I was only doing Search and Destroy videos. I was telling people how to play, what to do, and stuff like that, right? And that's how Jeff even got big. He's known for Search and Destroy. And so, Marvel 2 was a huge spike in Search and Destroy players, and Infinity War is known for good bomb sites, good good maps for Search. They've done it in COD 4, and they've done it in Marvel 2, hoping Marvel 3. So you have all the people that are playing Marvel 2, the trick shotters, the noob tubes, and the regular people. Then you have all the people in Black Ops Search. Black Ops Search, to me, isn't as fun. It's more campy, more slow-paced. Now, in Marvel 3, we're going to combine both of those, right? So you're going to have the ghost players, 
with the noob tubers, with the trick shotters, with the skilled tryhards, with the people that are just trying to have fun. And this whole combination of people is going to make for a new experience in Search and Destroy, I think. And overall, I think more people will be migrating towards Search and Destroy because really, if the maps are built correctly, like they were in Marvel 2, I think it will be so perfect and I just can't wait because honestly search and destroy is, is what really makes the game fun for me I'm serious if there's no search and destroy in any Call of Duty I'll play ground war sure I'll play headquarters yeah I'll play domination I'll play TD right that's about it and I, I won't have as much fun as search search is just so much of a mind game and I like having that extra ability right one question what is your guys' favorite game type? Is your guys' favorite game type to play and watch? So play, is it search? Uh, watch, is it ground war? Just like pub stomping, like the Mark of J fear crads? Like what do you guys like to watch? Game style or game type? And what do you guys like to play? And uh, right here, I see the guy throws a, I believe it was a, a, a stun or something, and so I waited back and I picked him off and it's always about the UAV you always gotta look at that UAV It is so important in search because you only have one life I picked this guy off at long range I would have had no clue if there was no UAV and I tried picking this guy off but no it didn't work so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take cover because I know he's a sniper right I know he's a sniper so I'm gonna get behind this cover prone try to get him with the semtex that does not work right so now I'm in a situation where he has a long distance on me he has the ability to kill me so I'm gonna pop out Take a risk. I'm 14 and 2. I checked my score. I was like, I gotta get to 15 and 2. So I pop out here. Where is he? Where'd he go? He has to be back here. Oh crap, he got a hit marker. Prone here. Jump. And now I'm just kind of having a mind game. I wait till he pops out. And I hear him. Get the headshot. Thank goodness I killed him, or else that would have been horrible. But uh, I'm thinking of once Mark for 3 comes out, I'm gonna show you guys how what's actually going through my head when I play Surge. I'll probably go play by play a bit. I, I might make a play by play search and destroy commentary where I record myself after showing you exactly what's going through my head. Because really, that is what search and destroy is about. It's about my games, and if you know exactly how to think in search and destroy, you're going to do good. But, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you guys are still watching, please leave it a rating. I would love it so much. I'm Cog Gameplay, signing out. Peace.